clinical trials. Are they right for you? Every day, researchers around the world are making medical advancements in the fight against cancer. Through these findings, doctors are able to help patients today and are hopeful about finding a cure in the future. But researchers are not doing this alone, thanks to patients who take part in clinical trials. For this reason, your doctor may suggest that you take part in a clinical trial to treat your cancer. This video provides information to patients and their families about cancer clinical trials. During the next 10 minutes, you'll hear from patients and doctors as they talk about clinical trials. You will learn what a clinical trial is and hear patients share their personal stories. What is a clinical trial? A clinical trial is not a, it's not a study that is exclusive for cancer, but we, can, we use for many different diseases to determine if, if a particular drug, for example, works for that particular condition. A clinical trial is a study where we look at a new drug or a new device, and we're basically trying to find new therapies, new methods, better ways for treating patients, whether it's cancer patients or just simple um, other types of diseases. Patients may have questions and concerns when they are asked to take part in a clinical trial. Don't be afraid to share any concerns with your doctor. Oh, my first thought was, uh, gee, I'm going to become a, a guinea pig, you know? And uh, am I at the end of my life already? You know, my life is not uh, useful anymore, so I can be uh, used for experiment. It's all negative thoughts that came to my mind. We had that fear of not doing it at first because of Tuskegee, because of different, it's just the word clinical. You know, we, we've had the fear that um, once, you get, once you get into something like that, you, you know, they just give you the medicine and let you go and they write down, what ha they document what happens right, to you, exactly. but no one, but it's just not like that. Another common concern among patients is that they will be given a placebo as part of the study. However, placebos are almost never used in cancer treatment trials. The doctor will sit with you and we will explain in every detail what, you know, what is the treatment that you're going to get, what are the drugs. Uh, so if you are going to get a placebo as part of your treatment, you will be notified of that and you will have the opportunity to uh, ask your doctor, you know, what, what is that, what, what are you trying to do, what, I mean, in every detail. What can I expect if I take part in a clinical trial? Taking part in a study may require more of a patient's time than if he or she were to receive standard treatment, but many patients feel the quality of care and attention they received made it worth the extra time. The quality of care is excellent. You go to the same uh, infusion area to get your medicine, sitting next to other people that are getting regular medicine. Uh, you go to the same laboratory to get your blood drawn, the same uh, labs to get your CT scan, so you're just a regular patient proceeding along the path to uh, uh, getting cured. You get exceptional care. In fact, we feel that the best care is, is delivered in the context of a clinical trial. What is involved in a clinical trial is written into the consent form that your doctor reviews with you if you decide to take part. The consent form helps you understand what to expect while on a clinical trial and how it may impact you and your family. Regarding the, the cost of the clinical trial, usually when we develop a clinical trial, we, with the development of the, of the trial, uh, we actually provide or develop ways to fund the trial. So we have funding for the trial and anything that, would, that is not standard of care. Let's say the trial requires that I do three blood tests uh, and if you were not in the clinical trial, I would only do one. Then the clinical trial would actually pay for those, th those additional tests that, I, that I'm gonna be doing. How am I protected if I take part in a clinical trial? Clinical trials follow strict guidelines that are monitored by the Institutional Review Board, called the IRB. The main job of the IRB is to protect the health, safety, and well-being of patients in research studies. An Institutional Review Board is a board responsible for the rights and welfare of patients taking part in a clinical treatment trial. The trials are monitored uh, after they're open and the patients 
who participate in these trials are reviewed. The Institutional Review Board, which again is a completely independent regulatory group, requires that reports uh, be generated on how the trial is being conducted. Is it helping people? Is it hurting people? And that gets reviewed and it needs to be approved on a regular basis by them as well. The development of a new cancer treatment goes through several steps designed to protect a patient's safety. And at each step of the process, different questions are being asked. So in other words, a, a drug will never go from development by a pharmaceutical company, for example, to you be able to buy that drug in the pharmacy without going through, the clinical, through a clinical trial process. What are the phases of a clinical trial? A phase one trial is the earliest phase of clinical development of a new drug. Uh, the, the primary purpose of it is to uh, assess its safety. It's to determine what is the side effect profile, what are the toxicities that people experience. So that would be an early, early phase trial. And then after that, when I actually show that the drug is safe, then the next step would be to show that the drug is actually effective and that it makes a difference to give that drug versus another drug. So those are, that's when we go more to phase two and three. Phase two would be that I'm just one to test that drug in a particular disease and show that it's effective. And phase three would be when I'm trying to compare the addition of that drug to a, a treatment that is already there standard. Can I say no if asked to take part in a clinical trial? It's okay to say no to a clinical trial. You can still receive the best standard care available. In fact, it's your decision whether or not to take part in a clinical trial. You can pull yourself from the trial. You can uh, remove yourself uh, at any time on your own free will. It's not a contract that you sign that you have to stay in the trial for six months or two years. Uh, if you feel mentally or physically, emotionally that the trial's not right for you anymore, reactions to the medication or uh, whatever, you can remove yourself from the trial and it's just that easy. When I decided that I couldn't finish it, the, the staff was very supportive of my decision and that helped me deal with any guilt that I might have. There are many reasons why someone would choose to take part in a clinical trial. Some hope that the study will benefit them. And in many cases, patients in a study are the first to benefit from a new treatment. For others, it makes them feel good that their involvement may help someone else in the future. Some patients may find, however, that their doctor has no clinical trial currently available for people with their disease. Even if there is a clinical trial available, patients may still find that they are not eligible to be in a trial because of such factors as their medical condition, stage of cancer, other health problems, or previous cancer treatments. Your doctor can tell you more. Well, for me, it was uh, like uh, a new window and a new uh, alternative or option that I had. It, it gave me hope. Hope for me was so important. I didn't feel like dying. The prognosis for me was very bad. You know, two, three years, no guarantee. And now I had an opportunity to extend my life. How far into the future? I don't know. But through research, I was able to have hope that there is something there. What should I ask my doctor? When deciding whether or not to take part in a clinical trial, you will likely have many questions. Take time to write down your questions and concerns and have them handy when you meet with your doctor. Ask questions and have an open discussion with their, with their doctors. Uh, because that way they'll get a, a better understanding of the basis of the clinical trial. What made it easier for me to decide to participate in a trial was the fact that I always wrote down any questions that I had. And I kept the notepad and I would number my questions so that when I went into the doctor, I was prepared. I think it is important that the patients take that responsibility and take that on themselves, rather than waiting for, the, for your doctor to tell you, listen, there is this clinical trial that you want, you know, do you want to participate? I think you should bring, bring up the subject. Many patients have benefited from taking part in a clinical trial. Remember, ask questions and talk to your doctor. Well, I've just completed my second clinical trial in three and a half years, and I'm uh, happy. 
uh, and very pleased with the results. Uh, and I would highly recommend that anybody that has been diagnosed consider uh, clinical trials as part of their uh, treatment options. It is important to remember that you can ask questions so that can narrow down the uncertainty and can kind of give you a sense of where you might want to go and where you can go. And then to take those tools and with your doctor, with your family, everyone can collaborate and see what is going to be the best treatment option for you. And you might find that it can be through a clinical trial.